Hello, today I'm showing you Web Starts. This is a deal I bought a long time ago. This must be one of the first deals I bought on AppSumo. I'm surprised to see it back, but it's a great platform, easily have my money's worth. And it's a website development platform, but you can also use it to launch your own website agency. So here's the dashboard when you log in, you get an overview of all the sites you've got on Web Starts. I'll probably blur out the ones that are for actual clients, real life websites. I'll show you some examples. You can also, though, log your external sites. So if you've got a web design company that works in WordPress, you might use Web Starts for some websites, just simple landing pages, WordPress for others. You can still keep them all in Web Starts so that you know uh, you've got an overview of your portfolio. You can also create your own templates. So if you've designed a website, you like it, you want to deploy it again, maybe in a different location, perhaps you've done a really good plumbing website uh, for someone in Scotland, you want to do it for someone in Texas, you can just create your own template and deploy that as many times as you want. So let me just give you a quick demo. So we hit create site. Now it does say start with AI. The AI is not as exciting as some of the AIs I've done recently. This is quite old school AI because things like Greta and uh, Easy Site are making much better use of AI, but I, I can show you that in a second. If you start with a template, They've got lots in here already for you to simply spin up and then you would just adjust the content, the text and, and the images so that it fits um, whatever the project is you're working on. So you can see at the side, we've got a range of them, business, online store, because it can be an online store, design, restaurant food. So if we say restaurant food, you've then got sub categories as well. So if you're doing this for a restaurant, let's just pick this one, for example, we can then preview it or say select. So you can choose a web address. You can either use their free platform or you can pick your own domain name. And again, you can do that later. So you can add your own or you can just say choose later. So if this is available, it's not available. I'll just say choose later. It'll just assign some random uh, string of numbers and letters. And that'll allow us to get started with designing the site. Pops up with a little video. Each website has this overview panel and this shows you some of the other features that are available. So by default, the grayed out ones are turned off and you can turn them on. So you can upload files and folders. You can activate a store if you want to sell products, activate appointments, contacts, chats, site members, business email. So depending on your plan, you can have email addresses included, but I would generally recommend if someone is getting a website from you, to get them to sign up to Google Workspace or, or Microsoft for their email address. It just removes all the problems with spam. So once you've got this set up, we can then say edit site. So this is one of the template sites. It'll offer you a quick tour. And effectively, you just get this layout. It's a very simple layout. Just at the side here, you can add your text, your images. You've then got graphics, shapes. Uh, you've got uh, designs as well. So you've got very basic designs, headers, footers, and it's just a case of clicking what you want. So if we wanted to change this design to this one, simply click it and there it is. And then we need to drag this up, this one down, drag this one up. There we go, get there in the end. And so now we've got a different header. This is just text, you can go and edit it. These are global headers and you've got uh, global footers as well. So you don't have to uh, keep building them every time. You can then add multiple pages. So here it's, it's built the home about contact and it's added a blog page. And you've got lots of control over this. If you decide you want to add something from an external site, so one thing I do quite a lot is I might build a landing page, but have a contact form that goes to a CRM. Well, that's quite easy to do because you can simply go in and add a HTML code. So embed code, you just drop that on, add your code in there, pop that on the site. And that's how you could add an external chatbot as well if you wanted it on just one page or you do have access to the full HTML. So if we say continue, you can view the source, paste code, you can add stuff into the site head or the page head as well. So you just paste that in there. And that's another way of adding things like chatbots to the site or analytics if you want to add Google, or if you wanted to put Google Tag Manager on, you'd paste it in here and then you could control all those extra bits and pieces like Google Analytics, chatbots in Google Tag Manager. So you've got lots of different options. At the top here, you've got a way to switch between the desktop and the mobile. That way you can get your mobile side looking spot on. It's done a pretty good job, but 
you can have a little look and go reorder elements. I would get it working on the desktop side first, come in here and then reorder the elements because undoubtedly you'll be tinkering on the desktop and that changes things on here. So you really want to do this last, but it's done a pretty good job there. Actually, I think that looks pretty good. Might space these out a bit more. So just a quick demo of the contact page it's come up with. You can see we've got the little map, we've got the form. I'd replace that form with a CRM form, but you can use the on-site options as well. So that's how you can use a template. You can spin those up very quickly. It does take a while. You've got a little checklist here. You can then add the domain so you can register a domain or if you already have one, you put your domain in and then point it towards the web starts using their address and you're good to go. Now, the other option will start with AI. So we answer some quick questions, they'll load up. So let's have a little look what we've got here. Well, let's, let's do another type of business, shall we? Let's go, well, let's go web design. Let's say you want to start a web design company and we'll call it, um, what apps do we want? Well, I might just want a chat app. So now it's generated a new website layout. I'd have to go in and adjust it, but you can see it's added all this text. Client first approach, leading web design agency based in Manchester. If we go down, we've got custom web design, SEO optimization. So it's added all this. You can click continue and carry on. Or if you don't like a certain section, we can just hit regenerate. So we just go to this section here say regenerate it's now come up with a new layout we can hit regenerate again I think that's similar to the first layout it's pretty basic stuff but you know it gets you going pretty quickly it gives you everything you need it's come up with the FAQs and so for very simple websites if you just want to generate something then hit continue and then you get dropped into the main editor and you can just edit away as I showed you before it's a very simple editor if you use something like uh, Wix uh, those kind of platforms this is of a similar nature, you're just dragging things on and editing text and images. So in terms of images, you can upload them or it's got an image search built in or they've just added, I've not even tried this yet, AI images. So let's see how this does. High tech web designer working at a laptop, cool background, neon lighting. Let's hit the little button. Very cool. I like that. So if we click on this one, say insert. We've then got a new cover that's AI generated, unique to this site. So that's, that's a very cool feature. I hadn't actually realized they'd added that. But otherwise, you can upload your own. You can drag them into folders so you can organize them. It's got a little file organization system. And you can do image searches as well. So we can just go into abstract if you wanted something abstract or just type it in and it'll try and search for whatever it is you're searching for. So you can very quickly and easily build websites and landing pages. They're not going to be super high tech, but you know, for a local business, plumbers, um, counselors, electricians, that kind of stuff, it can be a very simple landing page. And the fact that you can embed things opens up the possibilities even more. Now, this isn't a feature I've used, but you can add an e-com store to the site. And so when you click add store, this is the window that pops up. You get to add your products, title, description, add the images, you can add a video, add the price, SEO friendly URL, shipping, all that kind of good stuff. So you can also do digital delivery where you would upload the file to your web starts account and then it would be delivered after payments. So I think this is one of the most generous deals on AppSumo. It's a real gem if you want to build lots of landing pages. I've got the two code plan and it's lasted to me fine. Support's been great. And the reason I didn't go for one code was because custom domains, it limits you to five. Whereas if you get two codes, you get an unlimited number of custom domains. You get 100 gig storage and you get 10 email addresses. And because it's limited to 10, that's why I would suggest you encourage people to just pay separately for the email side of things. We then scroll down and then the only difference between the two code and three code is if you want to white label it, you can't white label with two codes, you have to get the third code. So I may consider doing that. But essentially two codes, $138, you can start your web design company today, host your own website on there, contact people and get new sites spinning up and you can manage the all the clients within the platform. So as well as being able to manage all your websites across both web starts and outside of web starts, you can also manage your clients and products in here as well. So if you link a Stripe account, you can add your own product and have it uh, managed within here. It will generate invoices. Clients can log in to this as well and they'll see this screen. I don't have the white label, but the clients do get their own URL, uh, which you'll set up and it can be branded as your 
URL and then they can log in and they can edit this and do what they need to do. And so that way you can offer to set up the site, host it for a monthly amount, but they give them access. So if they want to update their phone number or whatever, they can do so, or they can contact you and you can make a few changes for them, show them how it's done. So overall, this is a really great platform if you're looking to start a new website agency, a bit of a side hustle. I found it's particularly good at just very simple landing pages, just flat landing pages. You can run Facebook traffic to collect email addresses or maybe sell products of some sort, digital products. Very good for that kind of thing. If you want to learn more about this, I'll put an affiliate link down below.